live from Union University on the campus in Jackson, Tennessee. Flow Sports proudly presents Gulf South Conference Volleyball. This afternoon, it is the homestanding Union University Lady Bulldogs taking on Valdosta State from Georgia, the Blazers. Last night, Union dropped three consecutive sets to West Georgia in a Friday night competition that was very competitive, but it was the range and the experience of the Wolves that prevailed. Union comes into this one in a struggling season after losing a lot of graduates last year, including three all-conference players. Lady Bulldogs are 3-17, and 17, but they are still 2-4 and four in the Gulf South Conference. Last night, they were led by Marie Terosian with 12 kills, and she also had a 360 hitting percentage. She had 12 digs and 12 points, so if we were looking at it in basketball terms, she had a triple-double. Reese Owens, who is counted on to do just about everything for the Lady Bulldogs, had 11 kills, 7 digs, and 12 points. But West Georgia kept Union on the defensive most of the night, and that was where it prevailed as they took it in straight sets from Union. Reese Owens leads with 163 and a half points on the season for the Lady Bulldogs. And Sydney Whitaker is right behind her with 122. Now to look at the Blazers. Valdosta State was down in Memphis last night, and they defeated Christian Brothers three sets to one. They're 12 and six, so they're in the upper half of the Gulf South Conference standings, four and two overall for Coach Kaylee Zuha. Junior Kaya Baker, she had a season best 20 digs last night. And you had three Blazers who ended up with double-digit kills, and that was Christina Pettigrew, who had 12, and also the big 6'2", JoJo Smith, who's a junior, and Katie Kallenberger. She's a six-footer. This is a tall Valdosta State team. Audrey Bennett, she had 28 of the 43 Valdosta assists last night. She's a junior, and you'll be hearing us call her name quite a bit this afternoon. CBU tried to make a rally in the fourth set last night, but Valdosta State closed it with an 8-4 to four run and captured it three sets to one. Pettigrew leads the way with 242 points on the season for the Blazers, and Mackenzie Murray is right behind her with 215. That's pretty much the way everything stacks up between these two teams. We hope to have a competitive match for you this afternoon. I'm Steve Beverly. I'll be bringing you the play-by-play, -play, and we look forward to a very, very good afternoon of volleyball right here in Jackson, Tennessee, where the cold front has come through, and we're feeling the first crisp feeling of fall. We'll be back with the start of this afternoon's game right here on Flow Sports after these messages. Buddy, I'm not feeling too good after all this summer heat. Yeah, me either. I think I'm about to blow a coil. Let McCoy's Heating and Air give your unit a little TLC. Maintenance is the key to staying worry-free. Right now, schedule a one-time cleaning for only $90. Call 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's got us in great shape, unlike that guy. Jackson's most trusted team of technicians. York and McCoy's Heating and Air. Your life, your home, your business, your future. Focusing on you, West Tennessee Bank strives to serve its clients in every season of life. With vast experience in personal and business banking, we take pride in guiding you through significant events. At West Tennessee Bank, we help you realize your dreams. West Tennessee Bank is a division of Decatur County Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. West Tennessee Bank, focused on you. The Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios. With over 750,000 views in 2022, we are where you need to advertise. Please subscribe to our Worthy Road Studios YouTube channel and join the other 4,000 subscribers watching local sports. The Jackson Rockabillies, Union and Bethel Universities, USJ, TCA, JCS, and Peabody. Our multi-camera broadcasts include slow motion instant replay, on-screen scoreboard and graphics, and professional announcers. Thanks to the sponsors who make it all possible. Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios. The premier sports broadcast network in West Tennessee. Are you looking for a Christian college or are starting the college search process? I want to take a second to tell you about my school, Union University in Jackson, Tennessee. 
Union is a private four-year university known for its rigorous academics, Christ-centered community, and the success of its graduates. My favorite part about Union is the faculty. The professors here are so intentional about helping students grow not only academically, but also spiritually. You should check out Union for yourself. Come for a visit. I know you'll love it. At Union University, you'll be transformed. Back live in Jackson, Tennessee, on the campus of Union University, where we are getting ready for Union against Valdosta State in another important Gulf South Conference matchup. And looking at our updated conference standings, West Florida is on top with a 7-0 record. Alabama Huntsville, Mississippi College, both tied for second at 5-2. Valdosta State comes in. Fourth in the conference at four and two, and then you got Auburn Montgomery and Montevallo both at four and three. West Georgia three and three, Lee three and four, and Union two and four. The Lady Bulldogs would love the opportunity to be able to at least stretch where they are at this point in the season. Starting lineups being introduced. Lady Bulldogs are going to be in their black uniforms today with the red numerals and Valdosta State in the white with the red numerals. And just as a matter of full disclosure, I went through my first two years of college more years ago than I really want to tell you at Valdosta State and I was a professor at Union for many years. So I'm right down the middle with this in but I just love the fact that we can bring you on Flow Sports intercollegiate competition the way I believe it was meant to be with uh, just two teams that uh, they'll leave everything on the floor today regardless of the outcome. Last night it was a tough road for the Lady Bulldogs. They got a couple of leads in the first two sets, but... It was the experience of West Georgia that really made the huge difference. Kristen Blackburn, again, she's in our first year as head coach at Union, and she is literally having to rebuild from scratch just about after losing so many players to graduation uh, last season. She is an excellent recruiter in so this is a foundation season for Union. Valdosta State, they just seem to reload year after year after year. And as we mentioned, some of those that you're going to be hearing us talk about a lot, JoJo Smith and Mackenzie Murray, Christina Pettigrew, Katie Kallenberger, and Kaya Baker, they'll do the job for them this afternoon. Union also has a new frontline player in Jordan Moore. She's a 5'11 junior transferred from Walter State Community College in Middle Tennessee. And they count on her for strong blocking up front. And let's see, it appears that the Lady Bulldogs are going to serve first, and it's going to be Davy Slaughter. Boy, they ran her ragged all over the floor last night. Davy a sophomore from Mount Juliet, Tennessee, and she has the run and jump serve, and let the games begin. And block up front by the Lady Bulldogs, and right off the bat, Moore with an aggressive move that goes off the knee of Audrey Bennett, and Union with the early one to nothing lead. Just underway here, in case you just flipped on, here in Jackson, Tennessee, we're live on Flow Sports. Slaughter delivers once again. And here goes the set. And again, way back in the back, they couldn't save it. 
So Union is getting some good geometry out of their early returns and jumping out to the lead 2 to nothing. Davy delivers again, gets that low serve, and they're going to have to rally on that one. They won't get it. A little bit of hesitation on the Blazers. So Slaughter has them up 3-0. And a low delivery goes right into the net. Slaughter with a hot series of serves. And Union has a bigger lead than it had at any time last night. Up 4-0. This is a very patient Blazer team. And again, that goes in reverse. And the block goes over. Nicely handled by Christina Pettigrew to give Valdosta State its first point, 4-1. to one, And to serve, it's going to be Mallory Roney. Mallory is from Jacksonville, Florida. She went to Middleburg High School. She's a graduate student. All right, this one's got to go. Nice save in the backcourt. And give the point to the Blazers. As I say, they're very patient. They're not going to be rattled because they got down four to nothing right off the bat. We have the same officiating crew that we had last evening. Left-handed serve by Roney. And into the net. And that's one of the things that you find delivered very well by Vanja Stefanovic. She had that spinning return that went right to left, and it was very hard for the Blazers to defend. Gracie Tacker to serve now. Almost into the net again, and Union gets the point. Pardon me, flip it. It's the Blazers with the point. It's a 5-3 game. A beautiful campus these Blazers have down in Valdosta, Georgia, right there close to the Florida line. And the high set. That's what you call geometry in volleyball. She found the open spot in the quadrant of defenders, and Jordan Moore delivers the point. And here's Reese Owens, who has had to carry a big load for this Lady Bulldog team with her experience, and that one just went right on her. That's a rarity for Reese to get an early serve to go astray. And serving now, it's Pettigrew. And once again, Moore with a huge downward flight on that return, and Union regains the serve and the lead 7-4. Jordan is a very emotional and inspirational player, and they make some changes. And in the serve, it is Bailey Hughes. Bailey is a junior from Murfreesboro, Tennessee. And nice job on the return. Huge. Almost a line drive on that one by Sydney Whitaker. She has really delivered for Union. And it's 8-4, to four and we've got timeout. So, with Union on top by four, let's pause for a moment. Buddy, I'm not feeling too good after all this summer heat. Yeah, me either. I think I'm about to blow a coil. Let McCoy's Heating and Air give your unit a little TLC. Maintenance is the key to staying worry-free. Right now, schedule a one-time cleaning for only $90. Call 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's got us in great shape, unlike that guy. Jackson's most trusted team of technicians. York and McCoy's Heating and Air.
Union playing with some early inspiration and enthusiasm, and so Kaylee Zuha decided let's call timeout and see if we can slow down some of this express. Bailey Hughes back to serve. She's a quality server, a 5'8 junior, went to Blackman High School. And they get it over. Great fake. And power on that return, and Union's up by five. So they've had two good runs on their early service. And a few changes being made for Valdosta and JoJo Smith checking in. JoJo from Jefferson, Georgia, up in the northern part of the state. She has that line drive serve that curves. And is it in? Yes. Perfect angle for Mackenzie Murray on that return to make it 9-5. to five. And in to serve, Audrey Bennett. Good volley so far. Excellent block. Credit that for a combination of Mackenzie Murray and Katie Kallenberger. And they've sliced the lead down to three. Katie's from Merritt Island, Florida. And McKenzie from the wonderful town of Dripping Springs, Texas. All right. Slaughter. Good block up front by Union. And that one goes right. It was an excellent try by Mallory Roney, but it just spun right and went out of bounds. And so Union... Regains the serve, leading 10 to 6. And here comes Ashley Pruitt, who is from just down the road in Memphis. Good block up front by the Lady Bulldogs. Owens with a power move. She can get up sky high, 5'10", with her wingspan and her jump. And we got timeout once again. Union with the lead, 11 to 6. More after this. Your life. Your home. Your business. Your future. Focusing on you, West Tennessee Bank strives to serve its clients in every season of life. With vast experience in personal and business banking, we take pride in guiding you through significant events. At West Tennessee Bank, we help you realize your dreams. West Tennessee Bank is a division of Decatur County Bank, Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. West Tennessee Bank, focused on you. Once again, the Blazers trying to slow down Union's early momentum. Lady Bulldogs on top of the Blazers, 11-6. to six. And that's that line drive serve again. Here you go. Tarosian gets it across, and that one goes into the net. So Blazers reclaim the serve, and checking in for them is Gabby Ortiz from McDonough, Georgia, another one of the North Georgias. Players that has, have been recruited by Kaylee Zuha. Owens faked the bomb and then just let it go easy. And that one, oh my goodness, that was one of those that it looked as though, frankly, from the trajectory of that one, that Reese may should have let that go. And the block up front. Another combination move by Roney 
and Kallenberger. So they have sliced what has been a five-point lead down to three. In. Stefanovic delivers with that kill, 12 to nine. So back to serve now. Union will reclaim it again. This has to go. And that one went all the way back, almost into the hall behind us. <laughs> Union back to the four-point lead and Tarosian to serve. And the block goes off of the front line and out of bounds, and so it is a 13-10 game. Kaya Baker from Germany. She's a six-foot junior, one of the many international players that we have, and that one is geometry personified by Ashley Pruitt. She found the opening between the quadrant of defenders, and it's 14 to 10. And Slaughter is back to deliver again. The last time she was here, she scored five on the serve. Reese had that one blocked, but Union saved it. Let me tell you what, get out of the way when JoJo Smith and <laughs> when Christina Pettigrew are together. You're going to have that right on the nose, 14 to 11. This is a strong front line for Valdosta State. Oh, too much on it for Reese Owens. And timeout called by Union. So Lady Bulldogs still on top by two. We'll have more after this. The Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studio. With over 750,000 views in 2022, we are where you need to advertise. Please subscribe to our Worthy Road Studios YouTube channel and join the other 4,000 subscribers watching local sports. The Jackson Rockabillies, Union and Bethel Universities, USJ, TCA, JCS, and Peabody. Our multi-camera broadcasts include slow motion instant replay, on-screen scoreboard and graphics, and professional announcers. Thanks to the sponsors who make it all possible. Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios. The premier sports broadcast network in West Tennessee. So far this afternoon, Marie Terosian leads the way in digs for the game with four, but it's been Vangish with, she has five kills. She's the game leader in that category as well as five points. JoJo Smith with three and a half points leads the Blazers. Left-handed serve of Roney. And just too much on it again. And they appeal to the officials, but to no avail. So it's a 14-13 game, and we potentially are at a big turning point. Roney just has a slicing serve. Now, is that in? No. Game tied at 14. Union missing the angles the last two times out. And Valdosta State on a 4-0 run. And give it to Union. And checking back in for the Lady Bulldogs, Gracie Tacker. And also, Whitaker is in. Tacker with the serve. And what a save in the backcourt. And Union goes back to a two-point lead, but before that, that was an excellent serve and an excellent save. 
attacker who, again, as we say, she has a slicing serve. And that's an example of it. And there you go. That was almost like stuffing the basket for <laughs> Jordan Moore. Getting that first set is such an emotional lift in a contest like this, particularly when you're at home. And there's the geometry that is so evident in the game of Pettigrew as she fires at home. 17-15. Remember, we go to 25. You have to win by two. If we go to a fifth set, then that goes to 15. You still have to win by two. And once again, Moore delivers. And that's her fifth kill of the afternoon. And Reese Owens back to serve. Reese gets her serve so deep. And off the fingertips of the front line. And this is turning out to be a strong afternoon for Jordan Moore, one of her better ones in several games at six kills. And Union up 19 to 15. Reese to serve. Pettigrew is one of these that you just got to get out of the way. That one had to go. And there goes that geometric slice once again. So Lady Bulldogs five away from a first set victory and up by five. It seems after about four serves, Reese gets one off that looks like a rocket launcher, and <laughs> that one was almost back to the free throw circle. 2016 and Pettigrew to serve. Christina, one of the top players in the entire Gulf South Conference. That one's wide. Three-point lead now. Just like that, they have sliced it down from five to three, and you can, based on what they did last night, this team can go on an eight to two, eight to three, eight to four run and completely turn a game around. Now you talk about a downward flight on a return. Audrey Bennett just delivered one. And that's three in a row for the Blazers. Here goes the set. Tarosian pounds it home, has to return it and save it again. And the block is not successful, and so the Blazers have closed to within one. It was 20 to 15, and we're going to take a break. We'll be back for the end of the first set right after this. Your life. Your home. Your business. Your future. Focusing on you, West Tennessee Bank strives to serve its clients in every season of life. With vast experience in personal and business banking, we take pride in guiding you through significant events. At West Tennessee Bank, we help you realize your dreams. West Tennessee Bank is a division of Decatur County Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. West Tennessee Bank, focused on you. Buddy, I'm not feeling too good after all this summer heat. Yeah, me either. I think I'm about to blow a coil. 
Let McCoy's Heating and Air give your unit a little TLC. Maintenance is the key to staying worry-free. Right now, schedule a one-time cleaning for only $90. Call 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's got us in great shape, unlike that guy. Jackson's most trusted team of technicians. York and McCoy's Heating and Air. You have no such thing as a cushion when you are taking on Valdosta State. Union was up 20 to 15. Now it's a one point game, and Pettigrew is on a run with her serve. And she delivers. Torosian with a left to right return. Reese Owens with an excellent stop. And that's where you look for the open space. And Audrey Bennett found it and managed to nail it just before it went to the end line. We have a brand new game at 2020. So Union has given up five consecutive points. And once again... You talk about looking for the open spaces, and that's what this Valdosta State team has done in this current rally. Now they're up 21-20. Torosian with a power move, but Pettigrew was there to answer it. And that one was just out of the range of Bennett. Excellent slice by Reese Owens. So the game is tied again at 21. As we say, Reese has been called on to do so many things that are beyond what her usual capacity is. And she's done a good job of trying to carry this team on her back this year. Here's Bailey Hughes with the serve. Good dip for that one. Block and point. Kallenberger all over it. And that sophomore is turning out to be one of the real stars in this conference. Back to serve is Audrey Bennett. A junior from Kansas. Went to Shawnee Northern High School. Just too far beyond the end line. Now they give the point to Union, so we're tied at 22. From our vantage point, it looked as though it had just gone beyond the end line, but the official says no, it was in. And so here goes Pruitt to serve. You knew that was coming. Kallenberger, that's one just rare back and fire. So this one could go down either way, but this is a critical point for Union because you don't want to get it down to set point. That's why. All right, 23 all. And here goes Terosian with a serve. And how about that from Pruitt? So they have set point. And back to serve for the Blazers is Kaya Baker. The six-foot junior. Well, they answered the geometry on that one. Stefanovich with her sixth kill of the afternoon. So we got to go to at least 26 to settle this one. And Davy Slaughter, who had a five-point run at one point on her serve, is back to do it again. 
And that one was one that was just mistimed on the jump. It's doubtful that Pettigrew could have reached it anyway, but Union now with set point. Slaughter delivers. There's the curl. And the block. So Pettigrew in the clutch, ties it up at 25. We're going to go to at least 27. And Mallory Roney, the grad student from Jacksonville, back to serve. And this place has gotten profusely quiet as Kristen Blackburn comes over to talk to the, to the official. And again, we are so... We are not at the scorer's table, so it's hard to know what they might have been discussing. And that was one where, because it was so soft going over, you just almost have to concede that one to Pettigrew. Now it's set point Blazers. Crucial one for Union. And Roney to deliver. And in. Clutch return for the Lady Bulldogs. We are going to go to at least 28. This has been an interesting and entertaining first set between these two. And Gracie Tacker to serve from South Haven, Mississippi. Pettigrew. And it is... And apparently it was in. So it's 27-26. That was a bang-bang play. Here's JoJo Smith to try to get the winning point. We're going to go to 29 at least. Reese Owens in the clutch. 27 all. And Reese back to serve. This one has to go. It's in. Had just enough downward flight, and Mackenzie Murray delivers. So, again, it's set point Blazers. And Pettigrew to serve, and she had a big run the last time she was back there. Line drive serve. Look for this one. Is it in or out? Nope, it's going to be union ball. 28 all. And how about this? We didn't see this last night, but Jordan Moore is going to serve. We're going to at least 30. Here's the set. And that little dink on top. Blazers continue to get the edge on set point, and we're there again. And Audrey Bennett to serve. She's a 5'10 junior. Reese chose to go for it. This one has to go. Reese with it, and it goes in the net, and Valdosta State wins the first set, 30-28. to 28. Reese tried to get up high, and nobody feels worse about that than she does, but it just went right into the net, and after a grueling, entertaining first set, it's a 1-0 lead on the Blazers' end of the ledger. We'll be back with set number two after this. Are you looking for a Christian college or starting the college search process? I want to take a second to tell you about my school, Union University in Jackson, Tennessee. 
Union is a private four-year university known for its rigorous academics, Christ-centered community, and the success of its graduates. My favorite part about Union is the faculty. The professors here are so intentional about helping students grow not only academically, but also spiritually. You should check out Union for yourself. Come for a visit. I know you'll love it. At Union University, you'll be transformed. Steve Beverly back with you live on Flow Sports. And that was about as entertaining an opening set as you will see. And that could be, if you have another one like that this afternoon, it could come down to stamina as to who wins this one. Valdosta State taking it 30 to 28. You had seven set points during the course of the tail end of that first set. And so for Union, the key thing here is not to lose heart after valiantly and having a lead of as many as five points in that first set. But this is a Valdosta State team that is so resilient. They come back from deficits right and left. Uh, they lost a set last night to Christian Brothers, and CBU really challenged them in their fourth set that they went on an 8-4 to four run to capture it. And the teams head back on the floor. One of the reasons we saw Jordan Moore serving, she doesn't usually do that, but you're restricted as to how many substitutions you can make during the course of a given set. And Union had exhausted its limit, and Jordan had not served, so it was incumbent upon her to do that. And so for Valdosta State, Baker to serve. And the high set. Pounding it too strong, JoJo Smith. So Union gets the first point as it did during the course of the first set. And Gracie Tacker trying to... Tack on more to that. And Pettigrew just finds the opening. She has that big smile on her face. She just finds the opening, whether she slams it home or delivers a softy just as that one. And we're tied at one. And Mallory Roney to serve. She's a good left-hander. And that one trying to scramble, to slide to get that one, and just not able to reach it. It was a valiant effort on the part of Chloe Steen, but Valdosta State again with a 2-1 to one lead. And excellent placement on the part of Moore. And she ties it up at two for more. It's been a big afternoon. That's eight kills on the day. She's got seven and a half points to lead the Lady Bulldogs. That went on the net, but that's okay. Reese Owens is going to be black and blue after this one is over. The block. And they're going to call it in the net, and so... Union will have it, and Reese is back to serve. Lady Bulldogs up 3-2. to two. Reese with that run and jump serve. Union up now 4-2. to two. Oh, 
Owens just always has an enthusiastic look on her face. Just off the top of the net. And I knew Pettigrew was going to be <laughs> like a juggernaut there. She indeed was. That one went over to the Union bench. So they've cut the lead back to 4-3. to three. As I mentioned, this, this Blazer team does not get rattled. They got down five points late in that first set and just calmly managed to get it into overtime. Good block up front by Pettigrew, as well as Murray. And we're tied at four. And Glover to serve. Get the curl over. And Pettigrew just sliced that one off of the thumbs of Davy Slaughter. First lead of the set for the Blazers, 5-4. to four. And that one was a missed time jump. Six to four, Blazers on top. And a run and jump serve. Power! That's what they needed from Chloe Steen, and she delivers. Chloe is a junior from Olive Branch, Mississippi, which is just outside of Memphis. So Lady Bulldogs down 6-5, to five, slaughter to serve. Pettigrew has it blocked by the up front line, and she's in the net. All level at 6. Slaughter would like to go on another four or five point run. Good save from behind. And it is out. Just wide right for Murray. Union back to the lead at 7 6. And let's see, is it wide or is it good? Just inbounds on Murray's return. So we're all even at seven in Pettigrew. She is one. She was double tough during the overtime period in the first set. That has to go. Good save, but it just went at the wrong angle for... Davy Slaughter and went into the net. And you start getting those rockets that come from Pettigrew and company, it is tough to be able to handle them. Here's your set. This team has great court awareness. And they call one in the net. So give it to Union. If you see the official that is at the far end, if you see him stepping away from the net and putting up the number of a player, that usually means that it's a net violation. That was one where the block was in the right place at the right time, and Union back to the lead at 9-8. to eight. And Ashley Pruitt to serve. Into the net. They've had a couple of service errors that have been costly, particularly they had a couple down the stretch in the first set. So here's Bennett back to serve. She is really rangy when she delivers her serve. And that one was just off the hands of Pruitt. 
It was already having backspin on it when it hit Ashley. So this has been a seesaw second set. And is it in or out? And they say it was just out. 11-9. This is the first two-point lead that the Blazers have had in this second set. Into the net. Audrey had it up high, but it dipped just as it got to the net. So Lady Bulldogs trail by one and Chloe Steen to serve. She has one of those downward flight slicing serves, and that one was just out of the range of the Lady Bulldogs. Terrific angle on that return by Roney. You can tell the enthusiasm these young ladies get when they get a return that just is the perfect angle, and they get it in that quadrant where there's an open space. And again, that was a mistimed jump. 13 to 10. Valdosta State with his largest lead of the second set. We've been at it about 49 minutes. That front line with an excellent save. That one's wide. You could tell she reared back and fired in JoJo just had too many Wheaties for breakfast on that return. 13 to 11. All right, let's see what Bailey Hughes can deliver. And they knew it was wide the minute. They just said, let it go. And again, that's three service errors for Union in this set. And that's the difference in the three points that Valdosta State leads by. Here's Baker. Owens. That one's going up into the fans. I think Reese had side spin on that return. So Lady Bulldogs trying to rally from two down. Here's Tacker. Good save in the backcourt. Soft dink. Roney. Found it right in the middle of the quadrant. And the Blazers are up by three. And Roney to serve once again. Has that excellent left-handed serve that is so hard to handle. This one's got to go. Good block by Moore. Moore was a battering ram on that play, 15 to 13. And Reese to serve. That's going to be out of range. Blazers back up by three. They make some substitutions. Murray comes back in and Glover. Pettigrew has eight kills in the game to lead the Lady Blazers. Moore has eight for Union. And here goes Glover. And that was one that it was catch me if you can, and it just so happened that the front lines were up simultaneously, and it dropped on Union's side. They're down by four. Biggest lead the Lady Blazers have had. That one's in.
And timeout is called. That one was actually awarded to the Blazers. So it's an 18-13 lead for Valdosta State. We'll be back with the end of this set after these messages. Buddy, I'm not feeling too good after all this summer heat. Yeah, me either. I think I'm about to blow a coil. Let McCoy's Heating and Air give your unit a little TLC. Maintenance is the key to staying worry-free. Right now, schedule a one-time cleaning for only $90. Call 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's got us in great shape, unlike that guy. Jackson's most trusted team of technicians. York and McCoy's Heating and Air. Your life, your home, your business, your future. Focusing on you, West Tennessee Bank strives to serve its clients in every season of life. With vast experience in personal and business banking, we take pride in guiding you through significant events. At West Tennessee Bank, we help you realize your dreams. West Tennessee Bank is a division of Decatur County Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. West Tennessee Bank, focused on you. Eighteen thirteen, and that one goes wide. So this one started out like the first set. It was a seesaw game, but here at mid set, the Blazers are just pulling away on this one. Nineteen to thirteen, and Pettigrew, that was just sheer power. Twenty to thirteen. Five points away from going up two sets to none. And it's Glover serving. Outstanding save by Roney. And same for Reese Owens. And the block. Not enough on it to save it for Union, and so it is 21 to 13. And Union in dire straits of going down two straight sets against a team that is going to be very hard to make a three-set comeback from. Just managed to get the third hit. Slaughter with a great save. Slaughter again on that downward flight. One of the best volleys we've had in the entire set. Boy, patience. And delivering the kill is Bennett. That's her fifth one of the afternoon, and it's now a nine-point lead for the Blazers. And Glover has been on a roll in service. Moore tried to get the downward angle, and she succeeded anyway because it went wide off the return of Baker. So Union finally... Slowing down the tide here, 22 to 14. Slaughter with a slicing serve. And that one just got away from the Lady Bulldogs. They were hoping to be able to get it set up for a high return. So we're at 23 to 14. Two away from victory and set two for the Blazers. Pettigrew the serve. And that one went wide. We are at set point. Pettigrew trying to end it and put her team up 2-0. Into the net. Union still has some life. 
And here come the substitutions. Pruitt back in, as is Stefanovic. They've got the tallest front line they can possibly have. And the serve goes wide. That's the fourth service error of the set. And it is Valdosta winning set two, 25 to 16. They are now up two sets to none. We'll come back with the third set after this timeout. Your life, your home, your business, your future. Focusing on you, West Tennessee Bank strives to serve its clients in every season of life. With vast experience in personal and business banking, we take pride in guiding you through significant events. At West Tennessee Bank, we help you realize your dreams. West Tennessee Bank is a division of Decatur County Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. West Tennessee Bank, focused on you. Buddy, I'm not feeling too good after all this summer heat. Yeah, me either. I think I'm about to blow a coil. Let McCoy's Heating and Air give your unit a little TLC. Maintenance is the key to staying worry-free. Right now, schedule a one-time cleaning for only $90. Call 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's got us in great shape, unlike that guy. Jackson's most trusted team of technicians. York and McCoy's Heating and Air. Are you looking for a Christian college or are starting the college search process? I want to take a second to tell you about my school, Union University in Jackson, Tennessee. Union is a private four-year university known for its rigorous academics, Christ-centered community, and the success of its graduates. My favorite part about Union is the faculty. The professors here are so intentional about helping students grow not only academically, but also spiritually. You should check out Union for yourself. Come for a visit. I know you'll love it. At Union University, you'll be transformed. Buddy, I'm not feeling too good after all this summer heat. Yeah, me either. I think I'm about to blow a coil. Let McCoy's Heating and Air give your unit a little TLC. Maintenance is the key to staying worry-free. Right now, schedule a one-time cleaning for only $90. Call 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's got us in great shape, unlike that guy. Jackson's most trusted team of technicians. York and McCoy's Heating and Air. Your life, your home, your business, your future. Focusing on you, West Tennessee Bank strives to serve its clients in every season of life. With vast experience in personal and business banking, we take pride in guiding you through significant events. At West Tennessee Bank, we help you realize your dreams. West Tennessee Bank is a division of Decatur County Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. West Tennessee Bank, focused on you. Are you looking for a Christian college or starting the college search process? I want to take a second to tell you about my school, Union University in Jackson, Tennessee. Union is a private four-year university known for its rigorous academics, Christ-centered community, and the success of its graduates. My favorite part about Union is the faculty. The professors here are so intentional about helping students grow not only academically, but also spiritually. You should check out Union for yourself. Come for a visit. I know you'll love it. At Union University, you'll be transformed. Back for set number three, live from Fred DeLay Gymnasium on the campus of Union University in Jackson, Tennessee. Steve Beverly back with you for what could be the final set here. It is going to be a real test of the metal of these Lady Bulldogs at home to see if they can rally from two sets down. They had their opportunities in the first set that went to overtime, and it was one of the most grueling Matchups that we've had all season long before Valdosta State prevailed 30 to 28. And the second set went to the Blazers 25 to 16 after about the first 22 points. It was pretty much a, a seesaw type battle between these two, but they just began to pull away. And the Blazers, once they get that margin, they smell the kill. And the battle between Christina Pettigrew and uh, Valdosta and 
Jordan Moore of Union. Pettigrew with 10 kills and Moore with 9 in the game. Pettigrew has 11 and a half points and Moore has 12. And the leader in kills in the game is Pettigrew with 10. Assists. Audrey Bennett, how about this? 21 assists. Union's Gracie Tacker has 16 and 12 for Pruitt. And Union with the first point. Strong delivery by Gracie Tacker. Watch this for Pettigrew. The way that set was going, there was not a doubt in my mind, and Valdosta State with a 2-0 lead. Roney, who has that strong left-handed delivery. And it's in the net. So Union gets the point. Tack her in, and she's had some strong service today. Good save on the front line of Valdosta. Trying to save it in the backcourt. Valiant effort by Marie Terosian, but it goes off of her fist. A 3-1 Valdosta State lead. Back to serve now is Glover. She's had three assists and five digs this afternoon. Man, that midcourt defense is so outstanding, and I don't think they're going to be able to get to it. Slaughter. Almost ran into the concession stands trying to chase after that one. But Union already down 4-1. to one. And Glover to deliver. Reese Owens pounded that one, but that was an almost a reflex save. That one goes wide, but... It's ruled in favor of Valdosta State, and so the Blazers are up 5-1. So Union having to play from a deficit right off the bat. And this backcourt is second to none. It's a 6-1 lead now. And we got timeout. So Valdosta State trying to sweep it. They're up by five, and we'll have more after this. The Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studio. With over 750,000 views in 2022, we are where you need to advertise. Please subscribe to our Worthy Road Studios YouTube channel and join the other 4,000 subscribers watching local sports. The Jackson Rockabillies, Union and Bethel Universities, USJ, TCA, JCS, and Peabody. Our multi-camera broadcasts include slow motion instant replay, on-screen scoreboard and graphics, and professional announcers. Thanks to the sponsors who make it all possible. Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios. The premier sports broadcast network in West Tennessee. One of the big factors in this match is the hitting percentages in Valdosta State. 350 is what theirs is, and Union only 154. And when you see a disparity that wide, that usually means that you're having to struggle to keep pace with the team that is dominant, and that has been Valdosta State this afternoon. More. She had power behind it, but they were every bit the equal to it. 
And what a block up front by Murray. McKenzie extends the lead in this third set to 7-1. To and checking in for Union is Natalie Supini from Jonesboro, Arkansas. And the Blazers add to it. Reese Owens tried everything she could to power that over, but the block was successful. And that one went wide. For a minute, I thought Glover was going to serve out the match. She had been out there forever. Now it's up to Reese Owens to see if she can counter. And that one was pure slam all the way for Mackenzie Murray. A 9-2 Blazer lead. It went into overtime in the first set, 30-28 in favor of the Blazers. And then they took the second set, 25-16. Union saves it. But they were in the net. Ten two, and now here's Pettigrew back to serve, and that usually means multiple points. She's just a tremendous all-around player. And just as I say that, she goes wide. She was trying to get it back in the left-hand corner, but. It went just wide, so Union getting another point off a service error. And here comes Bailey Hughes with the serve. That run and jump serve. Excellent in the backcourt. Pounding it home but wide. So it's an 11-3 game. And Audrey Bennett to serve. Six kills today. She has had 24 assists. She's had a career day in assists. That one off the hands of Bennett. And Union cuts it to 11-4. And checking in for the Lady Bulldogs is Stefanovic and also Ashley Pruitt. And Ashley's going to serve. And again, Slaughter trying the backward curl. And that one is off the hands of Baker. So Union finally gets a point on service. 11-5. Pruitt delivers. And there you go, another one of those dinks that worked so well, and Roney found the perfect spot in the quadrant. And they're just about halfway home to sweeping these three sets. This team just seems to have so much communication as to where they are at any given time. Good block up front. Slaughter with an excellent stop. High set. And the dink goes into the net. So Union picks one up again off of a Valdosta State error. And Tarosian goes back to serve, down six. All right, this one has to go. Into the net, but saved by Owens. 
There goes Reese, and she has it blocked again. One of the better volleys we've had in this set. That one just too much. JoJo, it was almost as if she had been in the weight room and just powered too many biceps on that one. Checking in for Valdosta State is Harris. Amaya Harris, she is from my home of Columbus, Georgia. I, in fact, was just there on Wednesday and Thursday of this week. That one's wide. They've cut the lead to five, 12 to seven. Amaya went to Northside High School, which didn't exist when I lived in Columbus. There goes the run and jump. And that one goes off of the hands of Owens and Harrington. So a 13 to eight lead. And Baker is back to serve. Perfect combination from Pettigrew and Harris to make it 14 to eight. Think of the hours upon hours both of these teams work on those kinds of drills, but they just perfected it those blocks at Valdosta State, and they are absolutely never rattled out on the court. There you go. Stefanovic rifles one over. And to serve will be Hope Harrington. Hope from Spokane, Washington. She's a community college transfer to Union. And this place has gotten solidly quiet. And Pettigrew goes wide. 14 to 10. And we got timeout. So Blazers still on top, but Union trying to make a rally. We'll see if it continues after this. Buddy, I'm not feeling too good after all this summer heat. Yeah, me either. I think I'm about to blow a coil. Let McCoy's Heating and Air give your unit a little TLC. Maintenance is the key to staying worry-free. Right now, schedule a one-time cleaning for only $90. Call 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's got us in great shape, unlike that guy. Jackson's most trusted team of technicians. York and McCoy's Heating and Air. Your life, your home, your business, your future. Focusing on you, West Tennessee Bank strives to serve its clients in every season of life. With vast experience in personal and business banking, we take pride in guiding you through significant events. At West Tennessee Bank, we help you realize your dreams. West Tennessee Bank is a division of Decatur County Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. West Tennessee Bank, focused on you. If you want to know how effective Audrey Bennett has been in this game for the Blazers, 26 assists and five digs. Nothing that is cheap about what has happened with Gracie Tacker with her 17 assists and five digs. And Pruitt with 14 assists. Union again trying to make a rally down four. They get the block, but the up front saves it. This one's got to go. That backhanded curl worked well. And that downward flight was just perfect by Roney. She's had six kills this afternoon and eight digs. And Roney is back to serve. Here goes the high set. 
And powering that one home was Stefanovic. Her 11th kill of the game. So Union rallies back to within four. And it's Tacker with a 17 assist day going back to serve. And she again has that run and jump delivery. And that one was just way out of the range of Ortiz. That's Gabby Ortiz from McDonough, Georgia. So Union is closed to within three. All right, this one has to go. And the block up front works. And again, that was the combination of Pettigrew and Harris. But it's back to the four-point lead, 16 to 12, and Glover to serve. She's had seven digs and four assists today. All right, Davy gets that backward set. It's a high pound. That almost went into the backboard, and that did. That went to the ceiling, and nobody could catch it. 16 to 13. I thought they were going to get a bank shot into one of these side basketball goals. And here's Reese Owens down three trying to make the rally for Union. And somebody's in the net. Ball goes back to Valdosta State. Union with a net violation, so it's 17-13 with Pettigrew back to serve again. Hope you've enjoyed being with us this afternoon here on Flow Sports. We certainly enjoy bringing you all of these contests from the Gulf South Conference. Line drive served by Pettigrew and line drive return that took a big dip. That was a big fist there by Jordan Moore. So we're at 17-14. And Davy Slaughter back to deliver. Perfect downward delivery by Bennett. She's had seven kills, 28 assists, and six digs this afternoon. What a day she has had. And that one's pounded too high and too long. Gracie was trying for a back angle on that, but it just went too far beyond the end line, and Valdosta State now up by five. High set once again. And they go underneath. Is it in or out? It is out. Just wide right of the end line. And so it's now five away from the match for the Blazers. The block goes out of bounds. Stefanovich checks back in, as does Ashley Pruitt. And Ashley's going to go back to serve. Lady Bulldogs down five. Easy return, and that one's wide. 21-15, and checking in for the Blazers is Ortiz once again, and she is going to serve. Gabby went to Union Grove High School, one of the many promising sophomores on this Blazer team. That one too much on it for Stefanovic. 
She popped it, but it went wide, and so it's 22-15, largest lead now for the Blazers in this third set. And the block. Once again, delivering that one, Mackenzie Murray. And timeout is called. It's two points away from a sweep for Valdosta State. We'll see if it happens right after this. The Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studio. With over 750,000 views in 2022, we are where you need to advertise. Please subscribe to our Worthy Road Studios YouTube channel and join the other 4,000 subscribers watching local sports. The Jackson Rockabillies, Union and Bethel Universities, USJ, TCA, JCS, and Peabody. Our multi-camera broadcasts include slow motion instant replay, on-screen scoreboard and graphics, and professional announcers. Thanks to the sponsors who make it all possible. Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios. The premier sports broadcast network in West Tennessee. Valdosta State trying to close this one out and get on the road back home for that long bus ride back to South Georgia. That one way wide. And I, I think Roni knew that the minute she let fly, Mallory just had too much power on that. So Lady Bulldogs still alive. Torosian to serve. And that goes off of her hands. So it is match point for the Blazers. And Kaya Baker goes back to serve to try to wind it up. This has to go. Union still trying to save it and stay alive. And again, it's a good volley. That's why they knew it. Blazers win it 25 to 16. And it was a straight set sweep against Union for the second straight game. And this one went 30 to 28, an exciting first set in overtime. The last two sets, 25 to 16, and Union has fallen now to 3 and 18 on the season. Valdosta State moving up in the conference now at 5 and 2. So that's going to do it from all of our weekend of Gulf South Conference Volleyball live from here in Jackson, Tennessee, and we hope you'll be back with us for our next game, which is going to be in a couple of weekends when we're back here at Fred DeLay Gymnasium. I want to thank our fine crew for their tremendous work today. We appreciate all of their just terrific ingenuity and everything they do to bring you these telecasts. And so we say right now, this is Steve Beverly saying so long from Fred DeLay Gymnasium in Jackson, Tennessee, where the final score is Valdosta State winning it three sets to none over Union. This has been a presentation of Flow Sports, the Gulf South Conference, and its member institutions. So long, everybody.